I was 26 years old, and the geniuses on the NBC news desk said to me, there's this actor running for governor of California. We don't think he's going anywhere. You're the junior guy, so you get on the bus with him. <laughs> it's also worth pointing out with the current governor here, that was before the Brown family put a semi-permanent lease on the governor's office in California. <laughs> and so I did. And it was such an instructive beginning for me as a political correspondent because I saw the best run campaign I had ever seen up to that point and maybe since. By the time the governor got ready to run for a second term, I knew my way around a little bit, so I went to the Los Angeles Press Club where he was going to make his announcement and walked into the holding room early and took a seat in the far corner, but then I realized it was kind of reserved for the Reagan supporters and family friends because they began to line the walls, including Jimmy and Gloria Stewart. Nancy came in, and she was kind of on autopilot as she made her way around that wall of friends and supporters, giving each a kiss, a little squeeze of the hand, and a word or two. And it dawned on me she was going to get to me. <laughs> now, I am the outlier at that point. I'm a reporter from the press. And she got to me, and she leaned back in mock horror. And I quickly said, oh, Mrs. Reagan, whatever it is that I have, it's not catching. I can promise you that. <laughs> She laughed heartily, leaned over, and gave me a kiss. And that was the beginning of a remarkable friendship between the First Lady and a reporter.